Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best gaming laptops. Starting at number 5. MSI Katana 15. The MSI Katana 15 is among our favorite gaming laptops for those with just $1,000 to spend. We tested a $999 model with a Core i7-13620H and NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4050 offering strong 1080p performance, though you may have to turn down some settings in some games. Even under $1,000, you get 16GB of RAM and 1TB of storage, which is nice to see, as those are often some of the first specs to get cut for a budget PC. Instead, the chassis is made of cheap plastic, but the internals should get the job done. The display isn't the most colorful, but its 144Hz refresh rate will be a boon for esports players. We also appreciated the quality of the speakers for the price. Coming at number 4. Acer Nitro 16. The Acer's Nitro line has often a place on this list, mixing build quality, performance, and low pricing to create a reasonable product. The Nitro 16, replacing the old Nitro 5, delivers the entry-level power of an RTX 4050 and a Ryzen 5 7640HS, but with some niceties you can get for under $1,000. Our $999 review unit included a 1920x1200, 165Hz display with G-Sync support, which is great for esports gaming. It's nice and bright at 371 nits on our light meter and covered 91% of the DCI P3 color gamut. We also appreciated that the laptop offered 8 hours and 24 minutes of battery life on our test, which beat other laptops in eyes class, some by multiple hours. The webcam isn't amazing, and Acer has a habit of putting too much bloatware on laptops that you'll spend some time uninstalling. But getting USB for under $1,000, alongside a solid screen and decent performance for the price makes this a great choice for someone whose budget it's set at $1,000. At number 3. MSI Raider GE78HX. 17-inch laptops may not be the biggest around anymore, but they can still deliver a balance of power and immersion. The MSI GE78HX Raider is a powerful laptop, we reviewed it with an Intel Core i9-13950HX and RTX 4080, with a 17-inch screen sporting a fashionable 1610 aspect ratio and 2560 by 1600 resolution and 240Hz refresh rate. This laptop takes advantage of its size by using plenty of ports, including Thunderbolt 4, multiple USB Type-C and Type-A ports, an SD card slot, HDMI 2.1, Ethernet and a 3.5mm audio jack. There's also a giant touchpad, which is funny since most gamers use mice, below the Raider's most comfortable keyboard. MSI redesigned the laptop for this year, and it's less subtle than it previously was. It has a race car look with blacks and reds. Underneath the wrist rest, there's an RGB light bar that shows each individual bulb, giving it a bit of a retro aesthetic. Number 2 of my list. Asus ROG Strix G16. The Asus ROG Strix G16 is catching up to Razer in powerful, portable gaming laptops well. The Strix G16 score i9-13980HX and NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4070 provided great performance in a 0.89-inch thick chassis. Is the design as sleek as Razer's blades? No, but at $1,999.99 when we tested it, Asus is also competing on price. We also appreciated the Strix's battery life, it lasted for 8 hours and 49 minutes on our battery test, as well as the RGB keys with 2mm of travel. The laptop's lid is aluminum, but the rest is plastic. In our time with the laptop, not once did we think the ROG Strix G16 felt cheap, Perhaps the biggest issue we had is that our unit had a 1920x1200 touchscreen. The RTX 4070 should power that no problem, but in this price range you often see 1440p, or, 
in 1610 screens like this one, 1600p display panels. And number one, MSI Titan GT 77HX. MSI may not have adopted an 18-inch display on its flagship laptop, but in our testing, we were still enamored. A mix of powerful performance from the Intel Core i9-13950HX and NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090 provided for one of the most powerful gaming laptops we've seen to date. And that 17-inch, 16,9 display is no slouch. MSI has added mini-LED technology, so the 4K 144Hz display looks incredible. It's not OLED, but in our tests, it often looked almost as good, with extremely high scores on both our light meter, 511 nits, and our colorimeter, 161.6% sRGB, 114.5% DCI-P3. Add in a Cherry MX mechanical keyboard that's an absolute pleasure to use, alongside per-key RGB backlighting to keep it looking good, and you get some luxury you don't see in most gaming laptops, even if MSI doesn't use the mechanical switches for the number keys or arrow keys. Check out this video description for latest price and more information. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.